Well, it seems like it finally stopped raining. We've got about four inches. You can see I got some little mushrooms popping up. My lawn friends tell me that's a sign of good, healthy, composted soil, so I shouldn't really worry about it. What I want to talk about today is my weather station. It's about a eight or nine feet off the ground here. It's an Accurite Pro all in one and it's wireless so it sends a signal down to a console inside the house and the console is connected up to the PC and the PC then sends the information over the internet and then you can pick up the data in real time both on uh, your phone as well as on the Weather Underground website which ties these weather stations as well as many other types from other manufacturers together to give you kind of a personal weather station view of what's happening in your area and it's kind of fun to watch uh, as weather comes through how the wind changes how the rain accumulation changes and so forth so let's take a closer look at this so this is the five-in-one station you can see it has an anemometer or wind speed it's got a wind direction vane which unless you put this well above a house or, or above the trees it's it's not the wind direction is never going to be very accurate even the wind speed obviously is just what's close close to the ground here so it's not all that useful the uh, inside the main box is a temperature sensor and a humidity sensor and that little solar panel there is actually to run a little fan inside the unit so that the temperature uh, gauge is accurate. If there wasn't a little fan in there, the temperature could build up inside the unit just from s the sun hitting it, and it wouldn't give a very good reading. And then uh, the last piece is the collection cup for water to give you the rain accumulation. So I bought this unit about two years ago, and honestly, this is the first time that I recall that I've ever come up and take a closer look at it. I mainly wanted to see whether the rain collection was nice and clear. And uh, there's a little cup they provide, kind of keep the, the leaves out. But it, it has been very reliable. What surprised me is, uh, you know, it takes batteries, just regular AA batteries up in here. And I have not had to change them in two years. It's given a pretty solid signal into the house. Occasionally there's dropouts. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, it's still sending the data, I think once every six seconds or so, into the house, gives you a very good reading. And it's, what I find the most useful is the, the how much uh, rain, inches of water that we get accumulated and uh, displayed, gives you a good history of how much uh, rain you're getting. So let's go inside and we'll check out the rest of the system. Now these units come with a variety of different displays. Um, I think they're all reasonably similar. Um, this is the one that mine came with. The uh, You can tell it's the, the date and the time here. This is the rainfall we got today. Uh, current indoor temperature, outdoor temperature, humidity, outdoor humidity, relative humidity, and this is where we would get the indication of uh, wind direction and wind speed in the center there. And again, this gets tied in with USB, USB to the computer, and that's uh, you set that up with uh, some application to download from. The Accurate website, which allow get you set up to send the data from your computer up to the Accurate site, where then it gets also 
forwarded to the Weather Underground site if you'd like, so that you can see your data uh, along with other people's data. And uh, as I mentioned, it's, it's fun to watch how your system uh, changes as the weather's coming through. And it's also a good way to check that your instrument is reading pretty consistent with other instruments, you know, within a few miles of your own house. So here's the numbers that my, uh, this, my system is collecting now. If I go up to the Weather Underground site, it's actually displaying the exact same numbers. 69 degrees uh, is the real-time collection on this particular uh, personal weather station. So on the Weather Round site, you can look at all the personal weather stations that are in your general area. You can zoom in and find your own. I'm right near this lake right here. Here we are. So that's where you can click on that and it gives you the, uh, the current information. So here's another example. If you look at the menu over here, uh, I just have weather stations, temperature selected. You can change that to uh, temperature and wind and these barbs are kind of an aviation symbol for the wind, where the wind is coming from. In this case is from the southwest. That little tick there is a five knot wind. You can also click on precipitation, which I think is useful. You can see how that's been changing over time. And if you do it in association with the radar, you can see how, as the, as the um, weather is coming through, what impact that has had on rainfall in the area. So this I believe is in the last uh, 24 hours. If you zoom over to your particular area you can kind of see where where the water has fallen. I guess this is probably from midnight just looking up the numbers here in my area. If I zoom in on this one weather station here and look at his his graph you can see kind of the rate that it fell and what time of day it fell and what it's doing right now. You can also click just on the personal weather station uh, page itself. See what's going on that's centered on that particular weather station. Scroll down. It starts to give some graphical information both in graph or table form, whatever you want. Kind of a breakdown of what it's doing temperature, dew point wise, wind speed, wind gusts, wind direction, uh, precipitation, both uh, the rate and the accumulation. So these are very helpful things and each of the weather stations would have this kind of graphical history. And you can change up here, daily mode, weekly, monthly, so you'll have the full history of your station or anybody else's station in the area if you really want to kind of see what it's what's been happening in recent times. And you can use this even if you don't have a weather station. You can always just go up and look at one that's close by to you and see what's happening. But I think it's fun to have your own system. So let me show what it looks like on the phone. So here on the phone there's a uh, My Accurate application. And it'll come up and it'll display the same information I have on my uh, console here or, or the PC. And uh, one thing I use the most is just hit the umbrella here. It tells you what the uh, what's happened with the rain. Again, this is from uh, midnight last night. It's eight eight one hundredths of an inch. I can pull down what it's done for the last seven days. Kind of give me how much we've gotten over the course of the last week you just hit the button there it kind of shows you what it got each day so I find it very useful especially for garden and lawn work um, they're very affordable this setup here was only $120 uh, it's been very reliable so I would highly recommend it they're very easy to install talk to you later